Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of pathology. Today we are continuing our discussion on uh, tumors associated with vessels and we have already discussed uh, the benign tumors and tumor-like conditions and today we are going to talk about intermediate uh, grade tumors yeah they are also called borderline tumors or this may a major category discuss karni hai mujhe kaposi sarcoma ki and then we will continue and finish the discussion by talking about malignant tumors so let's first talk about the borderline tumors so borderline is the name indicate are at the border of uh, benign and malignant spectrum so iske beech mein jo spectrum hai that is what we call borderline uh, tumors and the category that you have to remember in this uh, uh, heading is kaposi sarcoma Kaposi sarcoma very well known uh, to be present in patients who have uh, HIV for example it's a vascular neoplasm and that's what we are talking uh, about we are talking about uh, tumors of blood vessels or vascular neoplasms and uh, this is typically caused by a virus which is a herpes virus Kaposi sarcoma herpes virus and this virus is also known as human herpes virus 8 although it occurs in a number of contexts it is most commonly seen in the patients with aids ye main aapko bata raha tha ki kaposi sarcoma is famous alongside the name of hiv so this is one of the uh, cancers ya yeah, cancer like conditions which are associated with viral infection you know about epstein barr virus epstein barr virus is associated with nasal pharyngeal carcinoma you know about uh, other human papilloma virus for example which is associated with cervical cancer and here comes another one uh, hhv8 human herpes virus 8 which is uh, strongly associated with kaposi sarcoma which we are discussing today and there are four different categories or four different flavors of kaposi sarcoma the first one is known as classic kaposi sarcoma it's a disorder which is usually seen in older men of mediterranean middle eastern or eastern european descent uncommon in united states it can be associated with malignancy or altered immune status but it is usually not associated with hiv so अक्सर स्टूडेंट्स ये समझ रहे होते हैं कि जहाँ कहीं वर्ड कैपोसी सार्कोमा आ जाएगा इट इज़ ऑलवेज एसोसिएटेड विद एच आई इन्फेक्शन ऐसा नहीं है कैपोसी सार्कोमा इज यूजुअली एंड इट इज यू नो फेमस विद द एसोसिएशन एच आई एसोसिएशन लेकिन हर केस में ऐसा नहीं है सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल द क्लासिक कैपोसी सार्कोमा एज यूजली नथिंग टू डू विद एच आई इन्फेक्शन क्लासिक कैपोसी सार्कोमा मैनिफेस्ट एज मल्टीपल रेड पर्पल स्किन प्लेक्स और नॉरियल्स usually on the distal lower extremities is tarah ke aapko plaques nazar aate hain let me show you on the diagram you see the purplish dark reddish type of plaques okay right then there is another category which is called endemic african kaposi uh, sarcoma it typically occurs in younger individual compare this to classic kaposi sarcoma which usually happens in older individual this uh, usually happens in younger individual hiv zero negative as well so this is also not strongly associated with hiv they are usually zero negative for hiv in combination with aids associated kaposi sarcoma kaposi sarcoma is now the most common tumor in the central africa so this is becoming very very common in african region okay with a very high mortality as well the third category of kaposi sarcoma is transplantation associated kaposi sarcoma happens in solid organ transplantation recipients in the setting of t cell compromised uh, condition so if t cells are not working fine in these patients the risk of kaposi sarcoma is increased 100 fold because of the transplantation uh, and there are you know immunosuppressive therapy in transplant patients so t cell counts get deranged it pursues an aggressive course and often involves lymph node mucosa viscera cutaneous so these are all the involvement uh, spectrum of uh, transplantation associated ks then comes the fourth category which is actually the most famous category aids associated epidemic iska dusra naam hai kaposi sarcoma this is aid defining illness although the incidence of kaposi sarcoma has fallen more than 80% because of a lot of anti retroviral therapies which we use for aids patient these days but this is a, still affecting a lot of uh, persons particularly you see uh, 2 to 3% of the hiv infected us population so us mein jo hiv infected log hain uski 2 to 3% of the population is affected aids associated kaposi sarcoma often involves lymph nodes and it disseminates widely to viscera because lymph nodes involve hai na so through the lymphatic channels it is distributed throughout the body agar hum pathogenesis ki baat kare to pehli cheez jo aapko yaad rakhni hai wo to ye hai ki it is caused by human herpes virus 8 
लाइक एपस्टीन बार वायरस ये जो वायरस है दिस इज ऑल्सो अ गैमा हर्पीस वायरस इट इज ट्रांसमिटेड थ्रू सेक्चुअल कॉन्टैक्ट एंड पोटेंशियली ऑल्सो वाई द ओरल सिक्रेशन एंड कोटेनियस एक्सपोजर एफ्रीकन कैपोसिस सार्कोमा इज इनवर्सली रिलेटेड टू वेयरिंग ऑफ द शूज बिकॉज स्किन एक्सपोज होती है सो द वायरस गेट्स इन ईजिली ऑल्टर टी सेल इम्यूनिटी होती है दैट वी नो देर सिंस इट इज अफेक्टिंग ब्लड वेसल सो देर इज अ वायरली इनकोडेड प्रोटीन विच इंड्यूज इज वेज एफ प्रोडक्शन और वेज एफ अगर स्टिमुलेट होगा सो वेज एफ इज एन एनजियोजेनिक स्टिमुलस सो द ब्लड वेसल्स प्रोलीफ्रेड ओके एंड देर आर ऑल्सो डिस्टरप्शन इन द मोलिकुलर पाथवे इज रिपोर्टेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल इनिबिशन ऑफ अ ट्यूमर सप्रेसर जीन विच इज टी पी All right. Now, if we talk about some clinical features associated with Kaposi sarcoma, the course of the disease varies widely according to the clinical setting. Most primary um, uh, Kaposi sarcoma, which is a viral infection, is they are asymptomatic. Classic Kaposi sarcoma, at least initially, largely restricts to the surface of the body. और वो आपको स्किन पे लोअर एक्सट्रीमिटीज डिस्टल एरियाज पे लीजन नजर आते हैं रेडिएशन थेरेपी कैन बी यूज फॉर मल्टीपल लीजन एंड रिस्ट्रिक्टेड एरियाज एंड दीज पेशेंट्स में ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्व यू नो अदर ऑर्गन मैंने ऊपर एक लिस्ट भी यहाँ बताई थी सो मल्टीपल ऑर्गन कैन बी इन्वॉल्व इंक्लूडिंग म्यूकोजा एंड योर वेसरा इन कैपोसी सार्कोमा एसोसिएटेड विद इम्यूनो सप्रेशन विदड्रॉवल ऑफ द थेरेपी ऑफेन इज इफेक्टिव यानी ये वो पेशेंट हैं जिनमें ट्रांसप्लांट हुआ है सॉलिड ऑर्गन एंड उस ट्रांसप्लांट में ऑब्वियसली द फिजिशियन मस्ट हैव प्रिस्क्राइब इम्यूनो सप्रेसिव थेरेपी और उस इम्यूनो सप्रेसिव थेरेपी की वजह से टी सेल काउंट्स डी रेंज हैं सो इफ यू रिमूव द इम्यूनो सप्रेसिव थेरेपी द टी सेल काउंट्स का डिसरप्शन बिकम्स ओके एंड द पेशेंट रिस्पॉन्ड्स ओके Now, interferon gamma and angiogenesis inhibitors because देखा ही गया है कि इस वायरस से वेज एफ की इंडक्शन बढ़ जाती है एंड वॉज द वेज एफ इज इंडक्टेड वॉट हैपन्स के ब्लड वेसल्स प्रोलीफ्रेड सो इफ यू यूज एंटाई एनजियोजेनिक फैक्टर्स दिस हेल्प्स इफ यू यूज एंटाई इंटरफेर ऑन गैमा दैट हेल्प्स बिकॉज बोथ दीज थिंग्स इंटरफेर ऑन गैमा एज वेल एज वेज एफ यानी एनजियोजेनिक फैक्टर्स दे आर इन्वॉल्व इन द पैथोजेनिस ऑफ कैपोसी सार्कोमा सो Uh, you need to remember the virus which causes uh, four different categories of Kaposi sarcoma uh, pathogenesis names of a few important mediators such as VEGF and P53 and also uh, what are the clinical routes for um, uh, you know presentation of the disease as well as for treatment options okay then there is another category of borderline tumor and this is known as hemangioendotheliomas they comprise a wide spectrum of borderline vascular neoplasms with clinical behaviors intermediate between those of benign and malignant tumors okay so malignant angiosarcomas and benign hemangiomas ke beech ki koi cheez hai ye epithelioid hemangioendothelioma is a tumor of adults arising in association with medium to large size veins particularly and the clinical course is highly variable so is pure mein sirf ye bataya hai ki these are the tumors which are um, you know at the border line between the benign hemangiomas and malignant angiosarcomas right then let's talk about the malignant tumor malignant tumors mein aapko ek hi tumor category ke bare mein pata hona chahiye jo exams ke liye bhi important hai aur clinically relevant bhi hai and that malignant tumor is angiosarcoma they are malignant endothelial neoplasms ranging from highly differentiated tumors resembling hemangioma to widely anaplastic jab kabhi hum word anaplastic use karte hain it basically means bizarre yani iski jo shape hai wo उसको देख के आप ये नहीं बता सकते कि द ट्यूमर हैज ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम एंडोथिलियल लाइनिंग और वेल डिफ्रेंशिएटेड ट्यूमर का मतलब होता है कि समथिंग व्हिच इज यू नो इनिशिएटेड फ्रॉम द लाइनिंग ऑफ ब्लड वेसल और वो देख के आप बता सकते हैं इजीली ओल्डर एडल्ट्स आर कॉमनली अफेक्टेड विदाउट जेंडर प्री डिलेक्शन मेल फीमेल इक्वल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लीजन कैन अकर एट एनी साइड बट मोस्ट इन मोस्ट ऑफन इन्वॉल्व द स्किन द सॉफ्ट इश्यूज द ब्रेस्ट एंड द लिवर एंड क्लिनिकली एंड जो सार्कोमाज आर एग्रेसिव ट्यूमर्स दे आर मेलिग्नेंट ट्यूमर्स दैट इन्वेड लोकली एंड दे ऑल्सो मेटासाइज फाइव ईयर सर्वाइवल रेट आर ओनली थर्टी परसेंट सो दिस इज नॉट अ गुड फाइव ईयर सर्वाइवल रेट फॉर अ ट्यूमर सो दे फॉर एंड जो सार्कोमाज आर प्रिटी लीथल इफ आन ट्रीटेड एंड जो सार्कोमाज कैन राइज इन द सेटिंग ऑफ लिम फेरीमा क्लासिकली इप्सिलेटल अपल एक्सट्रीमिटी सेवरल ईयर रेडियल मेस्टेक्टमी सो मेस्टेक्टमी का पेशेंट है ब्रेस्ट कैंसर की वजह से ब्रेस्ट रिमूव किया लिम्फ चैनल ब्लॉक हुआ एंड द वेसल्स डेवलप लिम्फ एंड जो सार्कोमा दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग ओके 
so it is associated with lymphatic blockage then there are hepatic angiosarcomas they are associated with certain carcinogens such as pesticides which are carcinogens hain polyvinyl chlorides and multiple years um, transpire between the exposure and the subsequent tumor development that's an important association which you should know okay the pesticides zahir uh, fields mein jo log kaam kar rahe hain who are using pesticides for long number of years may be affected if we talk about morphology angiosarcomas begin as a small sharply demarcated asymptomatic red nodules so there will be red nodules on the skin surface without giving you any problem so initially they don't appear problematic okay so if you look at the diagram you see these angiosarcomas uh, this is in the right ventricle the heart ke andar hai okay on microscopic examination the extent of differentiation matlab differentiation ka simple matlab ye hota hai ki microscope mein dekh ke aap bata sakte hain ki this belongs to a blood vessel this belongs to a lymphatic vessel if this is clearly identifiable then that means well differentiated the endothelial cell origin can be demonstrated in the poorly differentiated tumors by special stainings such as cd31 yani jab microscope mein aap dekhenge to jo well differentiated tumor hoga wo aapko easily samajh mein aa jayega ki ye blood vessel se originate ho raha hai lekin jo anaplastic ya advanced ya metastatic tumor hoga that needs additional staining aur wo additional staining hai for example cd31 ki okay isse aapko pata lagega ki blood vessels are stained so that's all and um, we will then talk about another topic in the vascular pathology later on take care of yourself